Hi and welcome to another WatchGeek video. Today we take a look at a G9000 G-Shock, better known as Mudman. This watch was introduced in, I believe, 2006 and was considered one of the toughest G-Shocks ever, with Casio even strapping one to the outside of the Toyota rally car for the whole duration of the rally, Paris Dakar, to show it can handle extreme conditions. The name Mudman comes from the fact the watch comes with a mud-resistant structure. What that means is that you have resin protection covering the buttons to stop mud from getting stuck into the button shafts themselves. This gives the watch a pretty cool look, but it also comes at a cost. The buttons are some of the hardest to press of any G-Shock I have tried. When I was doing the tutorial, it got me tired, because when recording one I have to make sure I keep the watch in the frame and try not to shake it a lot, which is not a problem on regular G-Shocks, but on this I had to rearrange the way I hold the case every time when I wanted to press a different button. Don't get me wrong, the watch is not impossible to operate, but when you're doing a 15 minute video of just pressing buttons, it does get annoying. In everyday life, you shouldn't be bothered with it that much, as most of us play with all the functions for the first few months and then just use the watch for telling time with an occasional use of some of the functions. If, however, you find the button simply too hard to press, you can always take off the bezel and cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes as that seems to soften it up a bit, but beware of any discoloration. So if we ignore the hard to press buttons, this watch is one of the most comfortable I have worn. It is relatively small for a G-Shock and the strap curves nicely following the contours of the wrist. The case itself is also pretty rounded and curved, so it clears cuffs much better than let's say a G7900 would. It also comes with these prongs on the case back that are supposed to help venting, but some people find them irritating. I personally don't even notice they're there. Being a master of G, it comes with the very secure double prong buckle, and the strap is attached to the case using screws instead of the usual spring bars. This does make for a more secure connection, but there have been reports of these screws breaking off, leaving the threaded piece inside the lugs making it impossible to get them out. That basically means that if you overload the attachment, instead of having to replace a $2 spring bar, you will have to replace a $60 case. Don't think this happens on a regular basis, but just beware that it can happen. I respect Casio for making progress and always trying new things, but in my opinion some things are perfect as they are. Moving on to the functions. As I said at the beginning, this watch was strapped to a Toyota rally car, and that was not a coincidence. Not only did Casio want to show how tough it is, but the watch's functions are also targeted at rally drivers. So the watch comes with two 1000 hour stopwatches with one having a pre-start function, where the watch will count down 5 seconds and then start the stopwatch, so you can launch your car at the correct time. Both stopwatches can be tracked for the first 60 minutes in the home screen using the display above and under the main time, with each block representing 5 minutes. A pretty cool feature. The rest of the functions are pretty good as well. A 24 hour countdown timer with auto repeat, 5 alarms and a world time function. My favorite function on this watch however is the backlight. The watch comes with a dual illuminator, but on this it doesn't mean two LEDs, but rather two proper backlights. One for the face of the watch and one that lights up all the writings on the crystal. I don't know if any other G-Shock has this, but after seeing how cool this looks, I think every G-Shock should have it. It seems Casio was proud at showing this off as well, as the backlight duration can be selected between 3 and 5 seconds, unlike the more common 1.5 and 3. The 5 second interval lets you enjoy the cool effect just a little bit longer. To compensate for such a long backlight, Casio equipped this with a stronger CR2025 battery rather than the usual 2016, so I do believe you can expect a decent battery life. So all in all, the G9000 Mudman is a cool little package at a great price that will look good on even the smallest of wrists. The hard to press buttons and the unique strap attachment can be seen as flaws, but to be honest, they're the only flaws this watch has. 
I personally would like to add it to my collection on the merits of the cool backlight alone, as it's pretty unique in the G-Shock world. But being me, I would go for the positive display, as negative ones are simply not for me. Yes, they look cool, but the readability is pretty poor compared to their positive counterparts. Well, this completes this week's review, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and until the next video, bye.